in the previous topics in the previous classes about vector we have learnt certain topics like vector addition vector types vector addition which refers Art is equal to p square plus q square plus two p q cos alpha when p q are two vectors acting at certain angles alpha and their resultant is r. This is the value of the resultant. vector subtraction when out of the two vectors one is reversed then if we add these two vectors this will determine actually the difference between the two vectors but to do that we actually have to add them p vector plus minus q vector which results p vector minus q vector and the value is p square plus q square plus minus 2 pq cos alpha basically this is vector subtraction subtraction this is topic number 3 this is topic number 2 this is topic number 1 these three topics have been discussed so far now in this class i am going to discuss about vector resolution vector resolution what is this suppose here is a roller which is to be pulled which is to be pulled or push if the vector if the roller is pulled then the force acts in this direction immediately this force breaks into two parts this part of this force tries to drag the roller horizontally and this force tries to reduce the effect of weight or gravity of the roller that means this actually this component is actually help us helps us what to reduce the effect of gravity so that it is it will be much easier for us to drag this down the plane but if the same roller is tries to push forward tries to push forward that force that force will break into two components like this this will similarly tries to roll the object forward helps the roller to move forward but this one will enhance the effect of gravity will increase the effect of the gravity so the roller seems to be much heavier and it will be much difficult to push 
There are several other examples like when we walk, the rear foot of us. Suppose a person when tries to walk this way, this is his front foot and this is his rear foot. When he applies the downward force obliquely, this force immediately will produce a reaction force which is applied by the ground and that force immediately breaks into two parts. One part reduces the gravity or weight of the person and this will act against friction, ground friction and this will help the person to move forward. There are several examples in which we see that a force when acts obliquely it resolves, it breaks into two parts and the value of those two parts can be deduced by applying this rule, vector resolution. To know this rule, to know this rule, we have to first know about a certain rule in trigonometry and geometry, the combination of trigonometry and geometry. Suppose this is a triangle and these, these are the values of the length of the sides. This rule is also called Lamy's theorem or sine rule of triangle. What does it say? It says that the ratios of the side to its corresponding angles sine. So if we consider A then sine of this angle A. B then sine of angle B and C and sine of angle C. These three ratios are equal for a triangle. So if we apply this rule for two vectors. Suppose this is this is a vector given and it is resolved into two components P vector and Q vector. These vectors are resolves or breaks into two components P vector and Q vector. And when we apply, suppose we consider this P vector X at an angle of alpha with R and this Q vector, Q vector, this part, this component acts at an angle of beta with R. So if this is beta, then obviously this is also beta by alternate property. So this angle will be 180 minus alpha plus beta. So for this triangle OAB, if we use Lamy's theorem or sine rule of triangle, then we can write if this is Q, this is also Q. So definitely P by sine of that angle is equal to Q by sine of this angle is equal to R by sine of this angle sine of 180 minus alpha plus beta. 
and this will equal to sin alpha plus beta. Now if we from this relation what will be the value of p? p is r sin beta by this r sin beta by sin alpha plus beta and q is equal to r sin alpha r sin alpha by sin alpha plus beta these are the values of two components to which this vector will break itself r vector break kore je p r q vector to e koreche je dutu part e break kore geche during action sei dutu vector er value ke amra ei bhabe determine korte pare now there is a special case what is that perpendicular components perpendicular components if this vector breaks itself into two parts such that they are mutually perpendicular this one this sum of alpha and beta if is 90 degree then what happens this is r this is p this is q this is beta this is alpha so now r breaks itself into two perpendicular mutually perpendicular components so alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degree if we apply this here and here then p will be r sin beta for beta we can write 90 minus alpha by sin 90 that is 1 so it will extract r cos alpha and q is equal to r sin alpha by 1 that is r sin alpha so these are two perpendicular components which are produced during the breaking of any vector these are the result part of any vector if the components are mutually perpendicular and you can see that in the two expressions the angle with which we refer the components is this one so the component p that means the horizontal component is cosine of the angle with which this p is in contact and q which is perpendicular to p is sine of that very angle if someone says that if i if uh, can I uh, can I express these expressions with the help of beta? Definitely he can do. It. And then, if it is beta, then what happens? Then this will trans transform inverse. So this will be then R cos beta, and this will be R sine beta. So always when a vector which acts obliquely and if this angle if this angle is alpha then the component which is adjacent to this angle which is in touch with that angle which is in contact with that angle will always cosine of that angle and which is away from that angle that always 
sin of that angle. If it is R, then it is R sin alpha and this is R cos alpha. If this angle is here, then it will be cos because this component is adjacent to this angle. Adjacent to angle component is always cos and the component away from that angle will always be sine. 